Amateur Combat Sports is here with Darren Cruikshank, pro fighter for the UFC now. Went through the ultimate fighter. Darren, thank you and welcome. How's it going? Awesome. Where are you? You're a courageous MMA today and you're actually training some uh, Amis, right? Yeah, I'm doing a seminar today. Not a huge turnout, but the people that showed up are going to get a good, turn a good seminar. The people that do show up are the people that count. That's exactly right. They want to get better and I'm here to teach them. What is your what if you were to tell people what your main focus, main style is, what 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 do people expect when they see you in the ring, man? I've seen your leg work. I I wrestled in college. I, I went to nationals four times, I took second once. That is my main background, but my passion is, is striking. I love to kickbox, and I basically use my, my wrestling to keep me on my feet. There's a time and a place to do everything. You obviously have to train it all, jiu-jitsu, you know, judo, grappling, blah, 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 kickboxing. But my favorite thing to do is to punch and kick people. The, the best feeling in the world is knocking somebody out. And that's what fans want to see. This is an entertaining sport. It's entertainment. And... You know, I'm there to put on a show, so I try to bring it and and you know put on that, that knockout performance. So I'm gonna try to get him, and then I'm gonna get away. So I'm just tap, tap, watch the punches, and I'm off. Make sure you get off the stand, right? Give me your jab, tap, 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 and I'm gone. Okay. Yeah, and outside of the uh, theatrics, you know. Uh, on, a, on a real note, outside of the theatrics from, you know, all the media and the exposure, stuff like that, uh, you know, this is, this is truly the venue, the outlet for fighters to say, I know Muay Thai, and this guy knows, you know, Ishinru Karate, and I want to see how that meshes together. There is no other outlet for that other than mixed martial arts. Here's the thing, with mixed martial arts, when it first came up, it was style versus style. You're not, you don't get that as much now. Everybody trains everything. And if they don't, then they're, they're putting themselves at a loss. Like back in the crazy time. Right. When that, was, yeah. that, was, that was when you had a kickboxer versus a grappler. And that kickboxer knew nothing about grappling. Now, it's not like that. That kickboxer knows how to grapple. That might not be his main thing, but they're doing it. They're, they're definitely doing it. But look, we watched you come up in Michigan, and we watched you come through all the Amis, and through, th what, what do you have to say to, to your, not, not, I'm not talking fan fans, I'm talking fighters, fighters that say, I want to, I want to be Darren Cruikshank, that guy went through Ultimate Fighter, you know, I got to watch him actually go in and, and do a live, you know, big Vegas show, and, and he was winning, and, and he went from Amis into this, he's actually a pro now. What, what is your inspiration, inspirational note, I should say, to AMI fighters to move ahead and keep pushing forward? Here's the thing. Amateur fighting is, is just to get that experience. A lot of times, especially in Michigan, these amateur fighters are getting 40 amateur fights before they turn professional, if they ever do. That's, that's okay if, you're, if that's all you want to do is fight at local shows and, 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 and do that thing. But if your main goal is is to get the experience and turn professional, and make a career out of it in Michigan, you you can't have forty fights, right? That's too much. That's too much. You should be getting paid. I was eight and one when I turned professional. I had nine fights. I had my I had a loss that kept me hungry, kept me humble, and made me get better. But the thing is, I had nine fights with over maybe two and a half years. I was fighting every couple months. And every time I fought, I looked like a different fighter. I got better at every aspect of the game. And that's what amateur is for, to get your experience, to get better. And if you're not getting better every fight, then you have a bad coach and you're not doing it right. You should look for another gym Ex maybe. Or, exactly. Or diversify at least. Right. The thing is, is, 
you need to work on certain skills every fight. And then once you're once you're at a basic, you know what's going on, you should turn pro. You you know, there's these promoters out here are getting these guys fighting 40, 50 times, da da da, saying, oh, do one more fight, do one more fight. That's that's not how it is in different states. Like guys are getting five fights and boom, they're going. Right. They're burning yeah. themselves out with the 20, 30 exactly. fights, you know? Yeah. yeah. Um, it's unfortunate, but a lot of guys don't have people like I have my dad that watches my back and you know he uh, he looks out for me he's been in the kickboxing and boxing world for a long time um, before I was born and you know now it's it's these guys are are you know getting so many fights as an amateur and they're not getting paid so what should be their main drive as far as training goes should they should they be focusing more I mean you got fighters that are doing one two nights a week and good fighters that are doing three nights because they've got to work full-time jobs they're looking you know they have no money to just keep going every day all that, day you know? that's the thing if you want to be if this is your dream you have to sacrifice you definitely have to sacrifice. you might not have uh, a nice car or a house or da 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 you might have to live with four other people just to make rent but you're you're sacrificing so that you can be in the gym and train and learn and, and get better and then eventually if you do it right and you excel then you will be making the big bucks and going on to the big shows but you have to you have to sacrifice some some guys have families and and have to work that forty hour week job and and do that. Well, if you have a family, that's that's your job. You can't be a you can't you know you don't want to put off being a family man to to be a professional fighter because well look the, at uh, Kimbo right for the most Kim, part. Kimbo wanted to come in and be a hard fighter and he knew he could fight but then he realized how much his family was missing out on yeah. him. And he said, you know what, the life of fighting isn't for me. Right. You know, and, and it is, I think, I think you're on a great note there with uh, the younger fighters that are, you know, fresh. They haven't, uh, and I'm not going to say messed up their life, but they haven't got tied up where they're having kids already. And they can actually put their focus into their dream and their career. It's this, to me, it's the same idea and platform as kids that start high school basketball, football. You know, they want to go pro. They want to be the next Michael Jordan or, or you know, uh, you know, Tebow. You know, they, they, they want to be pros but yet they're not willing to put in the sacrifice you it's, did it you it's, know? it's huge you have to outside of fighting you have to do all the right things you have to uh you know a lot of a lot of fighters are like they're bums really they're bums like they don't have jobs they don't do this if you want to have a good coach and you want to have a good career you have to work a side job that way you can pay for your training and do all that stuff if you have a family you have to sacrifice even more you have to even tighten down i was taught uh, when I first got into college, I had uh, like our coach made us take this class, and it was you can be good at three. Okay, out of three things, you can be only you can only be good at two of them, right? And when I was in school, it was athletics, school, and party. Those are the three things that that people do in school, right? You're an athlete, like I wrestled, I had to go to school, and my my social life, right? Partying. You can only be good at two of them. You can either be a good good athlete and a great student and be crappy at partying. The reason why is because you're not going to party. You're concentrating on the other two things. Or you can be a good wrestler and a great partier, but your schoolwork is going to take an effect. Or vice versa. You have to decide what you want to be good at out of three things. So I chose wrestling and athletics. Or ath athletics and schoolwork. And I never go to the bars. I never do that. And... You know, it's uh, that's what's gotten me here, though. Right on. Uh, oh, so so for an MMA fighter, you got work, you got training, and you got your nightlife. Which one's gonna take an effect? Which one's gonna go down? For me, <laughs> it's it's training and and it's work. You know, me, <laughs> it's it's training and and it's work. You know, it, it, that's that's the way it is. For you me. sit home with a good movie yeah. at night rather than yeah. go out and yeah. you know party. My girlfriend there, tells but... me I'm boring, but that's because I don't go out to the bars and stuff. Whatever, like yeah, I'd rather I'd rather uh, sit at home at, at night and then get up in the morning and be able to train instead of having a hangover and 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 da 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 da. da. You know that's. So on a that's final exciting. note, on a final question, I know you want to get back to your seminar out there, yeah. man. The kids are looking forward to having you train them. 
what would an AMI fighter have to, let's say, that, let's say that these AMI fighters are focusing on UFC and uh, they're focusing on getting there, what do they have to look forward to in getting to there if you focus your time on your athleticism and your, uh, you know, your, your family life so that you can keep a nice rounded schedule? Uh, it, it's not all the party and glitz and glamour that people make it out to be, is it? No, no, it's definitely not. And if, for a person that's just starting out, and looking to see what they're, you know, what they have to get into, it's this career has been peaks and valleys. So there's, it's more work to be a pro, there's, right? There's yeah. ups and downs. You know, there's setbacks. You have to just keep pushing forward. Do not let anything stop you. See your goal, short-term goals, so you can meet them, and long-term goals. And you got to make those goals realistic. You can't be, I'm an amateur fighter. Next year, I'm gonna be fighting for the UFC. That's just not gonna happen. You know, you got to go, okay, I'm, a, I'm just getting out. I got my first first amateur fight. I want to go 5-0. You know, I want to win this title and then have five more fights. And, it, you know, if my coach feels I'm ready, I want, I want to turn pro in two years. Da, da, da. Make some realistic gains. Awesome. Yeah, you know, so. Awesome. Thank you, Darren. Right. When's your next fight, buddy? I'm fighting December 8th, UFC 5 on Fox against Henry Martinez. Awesome. Awesome.